today I'm going to teach you how to make Felix Felicis Liquid Luck. This will be a great addition to your Harry Potter collection or for a Halloween prop. Okay, so to make Felix Felicis we will need one glass bottle and I have chosen a smaller bottle because it's supposed to be, um, you know, one shot for luck essentially. So I figured this would be like one serving of the Felix Felicis. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the cool pointy bottle like they had in Harry Potter, um, but uh, I feel like this will do the trick. We will need one label printed on sticker paper or regular paper and glue or Mod Podge, one cooking skewer, some styling gel, and then we're going to use this great product called Gild It. Um, and they're actually little gold flakes. You'll find this in your gold leaf file of um, your local craft store. I found this one at Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99 for the whole thing, but I had my 40% off coupon. So with that, it's pretty affordable and I'm gonna be able to use this in future craft projects. Let's get started. So we're gonna take our little glass bottle. And as you can see, it's about an inch and a half to two inches tall. Um, not very big, but I think it'll be a nice little addition to our um, potion collection we've been making. It'll add a little bit of height difference as well. If you want to make this in a bigger bottle, by all means, go ahead. I just felt like it would be better as a single shot. Um, so go ahead and uncork it, and then we're going to take our gold leafing. Okay. And I'm actually going to take my cooking skewer, and I'm going to just put it in here, and it's going to collect some of the gold leafing. Might have to do it a couple tries. And then you can just put it right in your bottle. And again, this is a gilding pack because the gilding pack are little um, bits of gold. Whereas if you get regular gold leaf, you'd have to break it into um, smaller pieces. But if you already have gold leafing in the full sheets at home, just take um, a toothpick or your cooking skewer and you can actually use the point to break off smaller pieces like this container already has. And once you get the desired amount of gold in there, so I think we're going to do just like a little bit more here. I don't want any huge pieces, just Okay, and I think that'll be good for now. So you're gonna take your gold leafing, oh, had a little runaway back here. And once that's in your bottle, then we're going to add the styling gel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my styling gel, make sure it's all the way at the bottom. Now, because this is a smaller bottle, we're gonna to wanna to be very precise about where we're squeezing it in. And it's gonna kind of push your gold leafing to the bottom and that's okay because we're gonna then use our cooking skewer to stir it all up and get the gold flakes where you'd like them. But the um, thing about the gel that's amazing is how nice it suspends um, items into it. So if we were to use something thinner, say like um, some hand sanitizers or the soap, um, the gold flakes would eventually drop their way to the bottom. So as you get them in there, you'll just kind of give them a little bit of a stir. We're going to put some more of the gel in there. And if need be, if it blocks up like this, just give it a little tap. And it'll push all that in there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up a little bit and get some of my gold flakes mixed up into it. And then we can also add more gold flakes to the top once we um, get everything in there if we feel like we need some more. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to get a nice mixed effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on time-lapse while I finish filling this up, and then I will show you if we need to add any more flakes. Okay, so now that I have this all the way filled up, as you can see, our little gold pieces are suspended, but if there's any that aren't in place where you'd like them, just take your cooking skewer and you're just gonna kinda put it in and do a dragging up motion so that you can kind of pull some of those gold flecks up from the bottom. And 
And if you felt like you needed to add more um, gold flecks, by all means, go ahead. I actually think we have a pretty decent amount in here, and I don't think I'm going to have to add any more. Um, it gives a really great suspended look to it. And um, we're going to go ahead and wipe the top of this off. And then I'm just going to cork it. So as you can see, we have a really great gold um, leaf effect in here for liquid luck. And then we're going to go ahead and take our label, print it on sticker paper, or again, if you don't have sticker paper, you could um, just use regular paper and glue or Mod Podge, whatever you um, need. So we're just going to peel the backing off of this. And then we're going to find the side we like the least, and that's the side we put our label on, which I think this is the side I like the least. And then we're going to line it up, try to get it as straight as possible. And I'm going to put this label a little bit closer to the top just because I want you to really see those gold flecks. And I think that's straight. Yep. And once we get that on there, um, you just kind of push and hold for a couple minutes, a couple seconds rather, I'm sorry, um, and it will help adhere the sticker to the bottle. It will peel up and peel back down if you um, need to place it differently on your bottle, at least for the first couple times, but once you really stick it down, it's just like trying to peel a label off of um, a grocery jar or something like that, off of spaghetti or whatever it may be. It doesn't peel off easily after you get it stuck down good. Um, and there you have it. Felix Felicis, Liquid Luck. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.